Hi everyone, my name is Ruth Francis. I'm at um, East Sussex County Council in the East Sussex Careers Hub. Um, today we're joined by Zoe from Metro Bank in Eastbourne. Hi Zoe. Hi Ruth. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so I wonder if you could start by introducing yourself with your job title and a bit of an idea of what that involves. Yes, yeah, so I'm the local business manager at the Eastbourne Metro Bank store. Um, so what that involves is I look after the business customers at the Eastbourne store, just if they've got any sort of day to day banking inquiries, um, if they want to borrow money from the bank to help their business grow and also support the colleagues in store as well with um, their business accounts and opening them in store. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, so you've very kindly prepared some slides um, that just um, briefly show your journey really after education and what you did next. So I will share those with everybody now. So um, Zoe, here we have what looks like a very fine Metro Bank building. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? So that's our head office. That is one Southampton Row in Holborn. That opened in July 2010, 29th, so it'll be 10 years old this year. Um, okay. the whole, it's a very new bank, Metro Bank. It's uh, the first high street bank to get a banker's license in over 100 years. And the whole idea was to bring customer service back to banking and offer people a choice. And that's what we're all about. And that's how I got into working at Metro Bank was through my customer service skills. Oh, fantastic. OK, that's lovely. So that's that's your London headquarters. Um, yep. Let's let's look at the next slide. So um, this looks slightly different. Um, tell us about this one, Zoe. So this is where I started off. I started off um, when I first left secondary school and I was at college. I had a part time job on Saturdays working for brewers in their wallpaper showroom. So I would sell wallpaper and curtains and fabric. Um, there's a lot of books in brewers with all different wallpapers. So there's a lot of choice for people. So they'd come in and I'd ask them sort of what they were looking for. Um, you know, in terms of patterns, colours, what sort of theme they were going to go for, and I could direct them in the right direction of where they should be looking, which books they should be looking in, helping them find a wallpaper or fabric that would suit them. Okay, wonderful. So although wallpaper sounds quite different from banking, you did talk about people coming in and asking for advice, which sounds maybe a little bit like what you might do in the bank as well. Yeah, I think that's a key part of customer service is listening to people and finding out what they need and finding out what and finding them a product that's appropriate for them and not just set giving them options just for the idea of selling. It's really what's going to work for them, last for them as well. Um, and that way you get repeat customers because they're happy with what you've done. Yeah, so that's a bit of a bit of a theme in your career, I think. Yeah. So then we come to somewhere again, quite different. Yeah, so very different to Brewers. I um, went to uni for a little bit as well. So I was working at Brewers during the holidays at uni. And when I left university, decided I didn't like it anymore. So I dropped out. And at that time, I'd been done a little bit of pub work and a little bit of work in nightclubs. So it seemed natural. I needed a full time job. So I just fell into Weatherspoons and I worked my way up there, uh, became a manager at, and went to the Brighton Weatherspoons. And there I just sort of got to hone in not only on my customer service skills, it's a very different type of customer in pubs than it is to retail uh, but I also got to develop my management skills there and my leadership skills. Yeah I see that you know that's less than four years you you actually rose up the ranks really fast there so you obviously were doing doing something really right there Zoe. Yeah it's just about um, hard work I just really enjoyed working with the people there um, and it was just a good place to learn those skills especially as you say, I did it quite fast, but there's always a, there's quite a lot of opportunity to grow in those sort of chains. There's lots of opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and in terms of the skills that you learned um, while you were um, at Weatherspoons, you obviously talked about um, yeah becoming a leader. Um, what kind of skills did you really take with you um, and then use every day when you're in banking? So a lot more people skills. So with brewers, um, you the customers are very different to in pub work pubs very it's a very fast paced environment people aren't always happy with what's happened in there in terms of their maybe their food orders come out wrong maybe it's come out slower than they wanted it to come out um and it's all about making things right for that customer so that they leave happy and that's something a skill i really learned at, at weatherspoons was how to oh yes we make mistakes and about only those mistakes how we can then make it right yeah 
yeah making it making it pleasant for the customer so they definitely will come back next yes. time and having that nice relationship with them wonderful thank you very much that's the end of the slide so i will um stop sharing those now and return to you um so um yes yeah, so you talked about some of the yeah the sort of customer service theme that's gone through all the different jobs that you've had. Um, so um, can you tell us a little bit more about what a typical day at work would look like for you? Um, so for me, it's a, I'll sort of go in, check my emails perhaps, um, see what's been going on, keep up to date with any sort of process changes and do admin. Um, a part that I particularly like is I get to go out networking and meeting with customers and other businesses. People are really passionate about their business, so um, it makes my job really easy. I don't have to do a lot of the talking a lot of the time. People will do that and it's just really interesting to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Um, so in terms of the things that you like best about your job, I mean, what would you sort of pick out as being the highlights? Certainly getting to meet all the people. Um, it's not just businesses. I do get to go out to um, schools, uh, for instance, and um, see opportunities like show what we can do careers wise. I also go in and teach about um, being an amazing money manager. So learning about uh, saving money, but also about borrowing money and how to borrow money sensibly and uh, credit scoring. That's that's something I find really interesting. It's great to pass that knowledge on to other people. Um, and yeah, I get to go networking as well. So I do get to have some nice lunches. Now yeah, again. fantastic. Yes, yeah, so I know. Yeah, you've helped us a lot at the East Sussex Careers Hub with different school events. And I know you're always super engaging with um, the young people. So thank you so much for, for doing all of that. Um, yeah, just got a few more questions. So um, in terms of um, when you're looking for a new member of staff, so you already spoke quite a bit about customer service. Um, so what sort of um, yeah, other kind of skills and qualities do you look for in a new colleague? So a lot of the people I work with have come from customer service backgrounds. So they might have come from HMV or um, hairdressers, but they're people who, like myself, have had job history. But we do also have people who have left straight from school. Um, so we would just look for people skills. So although you might not have that customer service experience, um, how are your people skills? How are you with your team teamwork? Maybe it's a school in projects or in an outside sports team that you might be involved in or drama project. Um, and we look for basic maths and, and literacy. But you don't need to have GCSEs in maths and English to be able to come work in a bank um, at Metro Bank. In fact, most banks, we, they do apprenticeships. And if you as long as you've got basic arithmetic and literacy skills, then you can get a job on uh, an apprenticeship mm -hmm. if it's right for you. And at the end of that apprenticeship, certainly at Metro Bank, you get a qualification. That's the equivalent of a GCSE maths and GCSE English. OK, that's fun. that's really good news. Um, so, yes, you don't necessarily need to have like A level maths to, to get into banking. So I think a lot of people will find that really reassuring. Um, so in terms of you, you talked about people in doing sports teams, doing drama, different activities like um, when people are doing those things, what can they really focus on to um, really develop those um, people skills that you you're say, you say you're looking for? I guess the best advice I could give whilst they're in these sort of environments is to be actively participating. So not just sort of being doing what they've been asked to do, but what are they doing to say, how can I do more? Um, you know, how can I help you? How can I help my teammates? Thank that would be the best advice I could give there. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's all my questions, Zoe. So thank you very much for um, yeah, giving us all those amazing insights. Um, so for anyone who would like to know more about banking careers, obviously um, check out Metro Bank. Um, but in terms of the different roles within banking, you can go to the um, National Careers um, Service website and look under job categories for business and finance. And there you'll see bank manager, banking, customer service advisor and several others. So do have a look. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Zoe, for, for your time today. All right. Thank you, Ruth. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye.